Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I am so happy to see all of you today. So today I thought we would work with some clusters that we are going to make from some sewing some scraps on some book pages or some music pages. But first, a shout out to Sue, Carrie, <clears throat> Christy B. 65, Joyce, Ricky, and Michelle. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, I had went into my scrap container and it was pretty scary. And I decided I have to do something with these little tiny pieces. Uh, just, you know, how see how tiny these pieces are, super tiny, and I saved them. So I thought, you know what, I have this huge uh, book of music papers and um, I think I will sew it on there. So I chose to do the zigzag because on this first paper that I showed you, it's a straight stitch on this first one and I just didn't think it was that interesting. So I kind of like the zigzag. I put string, I put lace, I put fabric. I ended up with one, two, three, four, five. I, I ended up with six and I got it down to our only have some chunks in there not some not the little tiny itty bitty pieces that it's just you know it was way too much my it was hard to get my lid closed on it so let's go ahead and make some little clusters with this I took and inked up a bunch of little printables that I I got from chapter one page, chapter one pages, chapter one pages, is that what their name is? I <laughs> know, all of a sudden I forget. Chapter one papers. And then the butterflies, um, some are from chapter one, but some are from um, my porch prints. And there's some little stamps here, and they're, they're all so adorable. And I went ahead and I inked them, and I used that Victorian velvet. So I thought that maybe, I'm gonna see which way is which way, this way, you know, have this thing about front and upside down, I don't know why. It doesn't bother me when somebody else does upside down, but oh, I can't do upside down if I have a choice. I have a hard time making it go sideways too, but <laughs> obviously I've gotten over uh, not using too much color because here lately, I've been using some color, and I've been loving it, just loving it. I'm just taking off those little pieces of string, and I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to tear it, and I guess I'll be using my little tear ruler. I'm going to push that aside, and I think that's what I want. I sewed, leaving quite a bit of space between, because I thought that I might like to um, have the paper showing. You could make belly bands from these these things. You could make snippets or clusters or even a journaling page. You could put it on the edge and decorate an edge of a journal page. That would be really cute. You could do all kinds of things with this. I will say this though. When you, if you if you choose to do this, there's such little pieces that when you put your foot down on your machine and you put your needle in, I fed everything with my bone folder. Don't go like this because these are such little pieces. You might really, you know, sew your fingernail and do we don't want to do that. So I truly suggest to use something like this to feed it in and keep your fingers away from it. Okay, so I'm going to snip this because that's pretty long right there. I didn't want that. And let's see here. I've just got to think for a minute. Let's go ahead and rip this whole page down so we can see what we have available to us. So this one has both sides ripped. This one has both sides ripped. This one needs both sides ripped. Let's go ahead and do that. 
I'm sure this is nothing new and others have done it before me. Um, I'm just saying that I couldn't stand my my stash anymore of little pieces of things and so I decided to do this with it and I'm really happy with it. I'm happy how it's turning out. So I thought I would get on and show you what I did with my pieces and then see if we can make a little something with them. Okay, I've got that. Now we've got that all ripped down. And we're going to just trim this right here. It's a very rainy day today. We're supposed to have bad weather come in tonight. We shall see. We all just try to stay safe. I'm going to bring this back in. And um, let's decide. Uh, okay, so if we're going to, I'm going to rip the page down to where it's sewn on both sides and then I'm going to cut it. That's the only way I know how to do that to get it to cut the material, the fabric and the lace and all that good stuff. So there's what I ended up with. Oh, that's going to be absolutely adorable. So let's go ahead and start maybe decorating up a few things see what we want to put on here. I have all kinds of little things to put on. That's ex that's very sweet. Now, I think what I'd like to do is because everything's been inked with that Victorian velvet that I would like to go ahead and ink around these. So I'm going to go ahead and rip some of these and then we'll come back together and we'll decorate a few and see how they turn out. Okay, you guys, I have seven of these. They're about an inch and a half wide. And I got seven out of a, my strip. And I inked around the edge. And so now let's do a little bit of decorating on here. Just real quick, just to just to see what we can come up with. I am really, really liking these. Guess I better get my ink so that I can get it to uh, come down, down the pike here. Get this going. And uh, maybe we just lay a few things out see how we're going to like them coming together. These are adorable little stamps that are from Chapter 1 Papers. Absolutely adorable. This has black on it. I think I might like this black one a lot better. I'm just laying them around and around <laughs> here and there, just waiting for this glue to come on down. Woo, that came on down all right. Some glue on here. I'll put that underneath there like that. Oh, I like that. I think that one's pretty. Very pretty. So, the what takes the longest is really sewing the pieces that you have and going through your stash and sorting it. But, it's a great scrap buster experience. <laughs> And you'll get your scraps all taken care of. At least you'll put a big dent in them. Because I had a lot and I was really very happy that I got it cleaned up and in control now. So then I'm going to end up with some beautiful snippets. And also I will have pages 
of pages waiting with fabric sewn on so I can do many different things with that and that's exciting as well so it's just just grab something don't even really think about it um, you I know a lot of people say you have to have a focal point well these are so tiny that <clears throat> I love that one. <clears throat> oh, I absolutely love that one. I think with the uh, the little butterflies and the the numbers and the, all these things going on, and it's so small that you will be fine not having to worry about. Oh, is this a focal point? Can I use this? I don't know. Is that going to work? Don't, don't even worry about it. Just put it on and have some fun. You can get real stuck worrying about if it's, you know, correct. Don't worry about being correct. Just put it on there and it will be beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> There we go. Now, I sure appreciate your time, and I hope you will join me again in my next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye now.